Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. Today, I'd like to have an afterlife conversation with Dr. Wayne Dyer. I specifically want to explore the topic of manifesting and law of attraction. So let's welcome in Dr. Wayne Dyer. Hello, Wayne. I, I know that I can call him Wayne because we've spoken before. I feel like we're on a first name basis. Is that correct? He says, well, you can call me Dr. Wayne Dyer. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, he's like, no, 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 that's right. He said, I like your hat. He already comments on my hat. Thank you. Actually, you know what? This hat I wore in my video when I channeled Amy Winehouse. You know, she's a singer and he says, I know who she is. Be incredibly beautiful voice. Like I didn't know a whole lot about her. And so I had to listen to some of her music after I had met her the first time and channeled with her. And I was, wow, really impressed. Like this kind of smoky voice, very, almost like she was in the wrong era. Like she was born way too late. Like she should have been way back and like the jazz and the, just beautiful voice so anyway so yeah so that's where and and I didn't really want to do my hair to be honest so that's why the secrets of the trade you guys wear a hat makes it easier all right all right so let's talk about I want to talk about manifesting give us some advice many of us who are watching above life channel are positive and we want to create the best life that we can for ourselves we believe that we are accountable and responsible for the things that we put into the world, for the energy that we have. We recognize that our energy is a force and a factor. And so we're not like um, on the beginning steps of this, uh, Wayne. We definitely want to be live a positive life and we want advice from spirits like you to give us the inside scoop on that. So talk to us about manifesting. Can you explain what manifesting is from a spirit standpoint? Sure, sure. He says, sure, I can do that. I think it's more important to begin with the context of the human reality and recognize that the reality that you are facing is an illusion. It's actually already a brilliant manifestation. It's a co-creation in which everyone participates in this illusion. And when I say illusion, I know that for some that can be very unsettling, but it really is, what it really means is a common vision that you hold and in your common minds host this reality and you accept it as what is true but in an energetic context in the universe it's not real what is real is energy and that's what matters yeah joke i get it i get it did you guys get that matter energy okay so if energy is what matters how can we manifest something different than if we're kind of co-creating with our mind this illusion of what 3D reality is, you know, the desk, the chair, the, the house, the car, the job, the w belief systems that we have. How do we manifest something different? How do we create change? How do we achieve our goals? How do we aspire to reach our mission then? I mean, he says, uh, that's a lot of questions, Bridget. That's many. I mean, what do you... <laughs> What, do you, what you're, he says to me, what you're really asking is how can I be happy? And happiness is what success is measured by. Happiness is what success is measured by. And you will only know, you can only know if you have achieved that success by being at the end of your life, the last leg of the journey, and looking back, then you will know it's likely that you won't recognize the happiness and the happiest of moments, the most fulfilling of moments you will not recognize while they're happening. You might get an inkling, you know, a sense that, wow, this is really special. Whether it's a peaceful moment with your grandchild or whether it's a proud moment graduating from college or, or getting the, the news that a baby's been born. Just a few common examples that you can relate to. You know these are significant moments, you know these are special, but you don't realize that they're part of the fullness, the, the true success of what life is, is to have these sequence of experiences. And it is not about control or even orchestrating the experiences. 
And simply what your human form expresses is the manifestation of what your soul comes in with. And your soul does have purpose. It has a deep drive and desire to experience, to experience life in a body as a person. And because of that, some of the sensitivities that show up and that create opportunities for experience that can cause negative things like addictions, or bad relationships, or bad luck, or illness, disease in the body. I myself had disease in my body, as many of you know. That's not what caused my death. My death was an exit point by choice, and I am grateful for the manner in which I left the body. I am very grateful. I mean, you can't get much better than that. You go to sleep and you don't wake up. That, that is easy. And let me tell you, I don't think I deserve that. I was not a perfect man was not a perfect man. But I will share with you as well, too, it's never too late to manifest. It's never too late to, and, and really what manifesting is, let's get to the core of it. What manifesting is, you guys remember, this is Wayne Dyer talking. I'm just sharing what he's sharing and the best I can with matching the words that he's sharing through. This is his message, Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne Dyer in the afterlife. Listen, listen to him. What manifesting is, is it is the realization that of it is the realization that your soul is seeking for you to connect with your desires some of you would call these dreams your wishes your hopes and dreams for your future for your life your desires your desires drive you and the reason why they drive you is because you need to acknowledge them because that is what manifests. It's called man. I fest for a reason. Man, humankind. I, you, your soul, I, the spirit in the body, I, and fest, like festival, like woohoo! We're united, we're connected, we are connected to the desire and we're bringing it forward. And then guess what? It's going to show up in lots of ways and it's going to make a whole mess of things. It's going to make a whole mess of things. Your life is going to be messy. Because the point of being connected, the point of pursuing your desires is not perfection. Perfection is a falsehood in the mind. It is part of the illusion. So I'm not saying, no, do not get me wrong, I am not suggesting that you lose your mind, that you lose sight of connection to your mind. You need your mind, your human mind does serve a purpose. And yes, in my work and my teachings, as Bridget will very much point out, ego edge got out. It does, it does challenge the thought of God inside of you. And the God is soul. It is your spirit, your essence, your part, your speck of the light of the universe is you. You contribute. How will you contribute? That is your choice. That is your choice. But you are a seeker. You are seeking the connection to your desires that is housed within your soul, even though you might think it's in your heart. It is in your soul. That's where it programmed in. That's where it came in. That's where the formula is. That's where the magic formula is. You will feel the, aim, the frustration, the fight inside of you, the internal fight between your mind and your soul and your mind and your soul in your heart. In that space in the heart is in between. It's the negotiator between the mind and the soul, between what is humanly manifest and what is not, what is dormant. And your mind makes great arguments. It is like the divine lawyer seeking your protection. But you don't need an order of protection against your spirit. You don't need that. That's false. That's a falsehood. That is not the truth. You are a being of pure light, purity. You are pure. If you are seeking or striving for perfection, for not making mistakes, for getting it done right the first time, then you're in the wrong arena. You shouldn't, don't watch this. This isn't going to help you. This is not for you. If you think your mind does everything, this is not for you. Don't watch. Don't stop listening. This is for those who seek 
the truest connection, to truly manifest and create the life that you want, the success that you're seeking is happiness, is a wholeness, is a unity. And, and in that unity, in that marriage, it's not always roses and cherries. It's not always wonderful and harmonious and skipping through the fields and the, picking the flowers. And it's not always that. It is a balancing. It is a sometimes the mind is the one that, that bows to the spirit and sometimes the soul recognizes the youthfulness of the mind because the mind is youthful. The mind does not live beyond the human experience. So the next logical question you should ask me is how, how then am I, ooh, excuse me, just crossed my legs here. Wayne Dyer is chatting away here. Oh my goodness, we don't want to lose our microphone here. Technical, technical stuff, human technical. The next thing that you should ask me is then how, if I don't have an ego mind, if there's no context of mind, then how can I speak? How can I use words? How can I reflect and remember in the memory the human experience? Well, uh, th that's a good question. Don't you agree? We're talking about manifesting everyone, right? That's a good, that is a good question. I get asked that actually. How is it that you can relate to us, Dr. Wayne Dyer? How is it that you can you know, lecture us about humanity and human life when, you know, you're a spirit, you're not, you don't even have a body anymore. And you don't, you, what about the mind? How does the mind fit in here? Do you have the mind? Do you access the mind? What is it? Tell us about that. Tell us about that. He says, ah, oh, Bridget, you know this. This is divine mind. This is the one mind. The one mind, the universal mind. This is the universal consciousness. This is the oneness. There is access to a library, to resources, to information. You simply go to that file, you pull it. This is old school now. You go to the card catalog. Do you remember when libraries had card catalogs? Wayne Dyer speaking, Dr. Wayne Dyer speaking. Not Bridget, <laughs> Dr. Wayne Dyer. Remember when they had card catalogs and you had to go in and you had to do that and all that? You guys don't have to do that now, but you had to do all that. It's like that. I go to the place, I pull out the topic, I look up at the thing, and I'm like, oh, this is my memory of this. I access it. Easy. It's instantaneous. You must know that there is no time space, there's no gap, there's no here and there, there's no geographic location to spirit. Your spirit, it's true, it's living in a body, it has a vessel. It's like uh, flowers that were plucked, flowers that were plucked and put in a vase and eventually the flowers die. But you still have the vase. Your spirit is like the vase. Life is like the flowers. You still have the vase, the sacred container. Sacred container has access to everything, all, everything. So there's no memory that's a moment. There's no time space, so everything is accessible here and now, which is why it gets confusing with like the past life stuff and the future life stuff and the decades of your life stuff. And maybe it's why the older we get, the less we remember because we don't need to remember because the mind is working so hard trying to keep you safe because that's what it is. It's, it, it is structured on fear-based mechanisms and that which can be proven as fact and tangibly touched with a body, if it can't be touched with your fingers or proven with the mind, then it doesn't exist in the human experience or context. When the truth of the matter is, the human experience and context, context is only temporary. And what is, is infinite is the eternal, which is the soul and the energy. Energy does not go away it does not die and that's how you're channeling that's how bridget and i are communicating that's how we connect that's how we like you want to talk you have access right now in your body to any powerful inspiring thought leaders poets and authors and great speakers and leaders and scientists and journalists and all these you have incredible access to all their knowledge and wisdom. You just have to ask. And when you ask, then you must be in a channel to receive. You must be a vase. 
So you must be in your spirit. You can't access this in your mind. You need your mind because otherwise your mind will block. Your mind is good with resistance and the fear to keep you safe. So it keeps out outside influences that cannot be easily understood by the mind. And so when you try to channel, tap in, um, connect to some famous person, whether it be you know Abraham Lincoln or St. Francis of Assisi or Maya Angelou, whomever, you can do that if you choose to do that, but you are the vase. You have to remember that you are, you have to tap into that in a, in a context where you can accept it and where you can, can be in, he's trying to like, so he's showing me the vase, like flowers, the metaphor of the flowers, but he's pulling, filling it with water. And the water is the communication, the, the, what holds the information, um, what holds the messages. So, so the water part is like the energy that flows. And so you have to be able to access that. So if you're the vase, your soul's the vase, you have to be doing like meditations, you have to be able to um, have a clear pathway, have flowing water, have energy, your energy has to be flowing. So you have to have like your chakras, you have to have some kind of awareness where your chakras are aligned. Chakras are energy centers of the body. This is Bridget. For those of you who don't know, chakras, C-H-A-K-R-A-S. Chakras. Yeah, I had to think about it. Oh, so, okay, I have to say something. This is Bridget. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne Dyer. Um, sometimes it's really hard to use my ego mind when I'm in this kind of a channel because the energy is so, I'm so in the energy flow state that that's all I'm feeling and thinking and connecting to, thinking mind, one mind, divine mind, that I can't recall normal things like, uh, how do I spell chakra? Because that's not what the point of Above Life Channel is. Getting spelling accurately is not the point of Above Life Channel. I just want to clarify that. There you go. So now I just stepped into my ego mind. There's an example of that. <laughs> and then Dr. Dyer says, mm-hmm. So now, isn't that interesting how that happens, isn't it? It does, right? Mm-hmm. And he says, well, what were you afraid of right there? Okay, I, I want to share this with people. What do you mean, what was I afraid of? I'm not, I don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about me, Bridget. Okay, yes, I'll say it. Uh, afraid of, fear of criticism and judgment. Mm-hmm. It gets old after a while. It really does. He says, so, so don't care. Okay. Gee, I wish I would have thought of that. Of course. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, yeah, being a smart Alec doesn't make you right. <laughs> One of my personal criticisms with Dr. Wayne Dyer, and he knows this, and I'll totally share it forthright if if you've seen my other video, I may have talked about it. I actually um, was at, uh, I had the opportunity, the privilege to hear Dr. Wayne Dyer share some of his stories on stage. I think it was 2013 at a, a Soulful Writers Conference that I attended in Colorado. And um, I had the opportunity to go up and meet him and I just didn't want to. I just felt like it was really, I felt like there's a part of him that's so ego, was so ego-minded and like, oh, me, 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 me. And I was like, ew, kind of, I mean, I could feel the really deeply spiritual part of him, but yet I could also feel the very human part of him. And the human part of him I didn't like. And the spiritual part of him I do very much like. And so I, I think that since that's a reflection, since what we feel from someone else that's presenting to us that we're kind of repelled by is a part of resistance or a piece of ourselves that needs to be healed. And so I think for me, I would acknowledge and recognize that the um, being a person that has been a type A, very driven person, um, successful in my uh, human career, um, with my, in my education and uh, my college degrees and all that, um, really kind of coming at to center and uniting my spiritual experiences with my human intellect has been definitely a path for me, a very uh, intensive journey. I think that's probably why when I work with people, I, I really honor the mind because I recognize that the brain must be on board in our process and honoring that and understanding the resistance and why we are here in a body and, and utilizing our mind and our body in our spiritual journey, working together has been a huge part of my process. But overcoming some of my own barriers of the resistance that I have for not wanting to be judged and um, wanting to tell people off, quite frankly, because <laughs> 
definitely have a warrior advocate, like stand up for other people, but also warrior like, oh yeah, bring it, you know, kind of energy. Like I'm like that, like I'm sassy. And some of you guys don't know me like that, but that's how I am. <laughs> that's how I am, okay? And he knows it, so he's poking at me a little bit to bring it out. And so I've learned a lot from Dr. Wayne Dyer because of that, the reflection of humanity and the parts of me that I don't necessarily like either, the parts of me that get challenged by um, resistance and things. That's human. That's part of the process, you guys. That's how we grow, okay? It's annoying and frustrating, but that's how we grow. That's like the point, right, is to be a person, yeah? To be a person, have the experiences. So do you have any tips, like what are like the top three things for manifesting that we should know? Oh, you can hear my dogs barking upstairs. That's all right. This is what happens when you're like a mom and you have like four kids and four dogs and a busy house. There you go, guys, real life. Manifest, give me like three tips to manifest, Dr. Dyer. He says, be yourself, be yourself. And if you don't know who you are, you better find out. And that means you got to spend some quality time with yourself. And that means you got to be in, he's trying to say like quiet space. So I would interpret that. So he says, know yourself. You got to know yourself. So I would interpret that as like meditation, writing, journaling, just for yourself. Get to know your own self. What is, what are you like? What do you like? Because you change, your preferences change, your interests change. You might not even know what you like anymore because all you've been doing is raising kids or working so hard you're never home or you know what I mean? You, you've been busy with like human life. So now let's get in and spend some time with yourself as a soul. Don't feel shame, don't feel guilt, don't feel bad about not spending that time with yourself now. This is Bridget talking. Just give yourself permission to do that. So Dr. Dyer says to manifest, the first thing is to be yourself. In order to be yourself, you got to know yourself. So that means spend time with yourself. Okay? Do that. Be yourself, he says. All right. So what's the second thing? He says, be healthy. You got to take care of your body. I, I know you don't, I know you people don't want to hear this. But you got to take care of your body because it's what you're living in right now. You know, it's like your cars. You know, think about your car and how short lived your car would be if you didn't do the oil change or you didn't put air in your tires. Or you didn't even put gas in it. What if you didn't put gas in it? What if you put a different kind of gas in it? It's not going to run very long, is it? So you got to be healthy. And being healthy means, you know, take care of your bodies, whether that's going to the doctor or getting your physical or, you know, doing some movement, getting a little bit active. I'm not suggesting you got to run a marathon, but get, a, get active. Make some smart choices about your health. Just do that. So be who you are and be healthy, focus on your health, physical body health, that's what he said, all right. Hmm. And then the third thing he says, this is about manifesting, you guys, the third thing he says is ask for help. He says, ask for help, and he shows me angels. So I do a lot of work with archangels. Some of you may know that. If we've had private session, you know that. I work with archangels a ton. Why? Because they're great. They're so easy to connect with, super easy. They're non-denominational. When I say archangels, I don't mean religion one religion, one way, one practice. I mean, angels, nice, sweet, good energy, tons of different skill sets, tons. And so that's what I see when he says that. But he says, get support, ask, ask for support. You know, not just human support, soul support, spirit support. You got He's like, so everything he's telling us is about connecting with the energy that puts us in a place to, to be in a positive flow. Um, the best state that we can be in in order to be able to manifest, to bring forward that which is true for us, bring forward that connection to our desires and our soul, and allow our mind to not stand in the way. Because why? Because we know. We know ourselves. We know who we are. Do you know who you are? That's the first step. That's the first most important. Sorry, I got a Band-Aid here. because um, I cut my finger with brand new knives. I was cutting up an apple cut my finger. So sorry. I know it's ugly, but hey, it's life. I'm taking care of myself. I put a band-aid on it. I did take care of myself. Know yourself, okay? Be healthy in your body. 
And then the third thing is ask for support, ask for help, specifically your healing team of angels, archangels. You may have healing helpers that are saints or guides, or you might have totem animals, or you might have ascended masters, which basically means like saints and all different kinds of deities that cross multiple cultures, that cross denominations, that cross religious boundaries. There's lots of helpers, you guys, and that helps to inspire your spirit and to make you feel good so that then you can make healthy choices and know yourself and spend time with yourself and not feel guilty that you're not working harder or you're not playing ball with your kid. Instead, you're spending some time with yourself. You might be journaling, you might take a nice bath and listen to a great audio that gives you information about manifesting law of attraction or positive uh, motivational talks and things like that, right? All right, anything else? Is there anything else, Dr. Wayne Dyer, that you'd like to say? He says, no, I think that about, that about sums it up now. He says, I don't want to get, he says, I don't want to get you over time. Like, okay, <laughs> all right, thank you, thank you. And he says, pay attention to your energy. That's what he's leaving us with, pay attention to your energy. It makes all the difference. It makes all the difference, especially when you're trying to manifest. Thank you. All right, you guys. I hope you've gotten to know me a little better through this video. I'm trying to let you see my uh, full authentic personality, and I am a little sassy at times, and that's just the way it is. If you don't like it, don't watch. Okay. It's all right with me. All right. So this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. I hope that we've done that with our conversation about manifesting with Dr. Wayne Dyer in the afterlife. If you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. That's a good thing to do that. Give it a thumbs up. Or you can make a comment if you like too. That helps. Um, if you know somebody that loves Dr. Wayne Dyer or that needs to hear this message, go ahead and share it with them. That's a good thing to do as well. Spread the love. Spread the inspiration. Spread the hope. I really appreciate that. All right, remember, the most important thing, remember, this is your life. This is your life. So live it, live it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>